Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we went to those catacombs right next to the Green Griffin Inn, cleaved our way through a butt ton of undead, slew a bunch more of undead, smashed some more undead, found a lich, punched him in the face, took his book, gave it to the lady that has the ability to do something with those books. Also, I'm just noticing as I was looking through the, um, as I was looking through the companions and seeing which one was able to cast Endure Elements, which is a clerical spell, by the way. The... The one... The profile picture here for Tommy is different than the one that they show on this... on uh, Mike's RPG Center com for Neverwinter Nights. That might just be me over-analyzing things, but, in any case, the first thing that I planned on doing... No, oh, that's the cracked anvil. First thing I planned on doing, if I remembered where the frick anything is anymore, which I don't, obviously, is finding, uh, getting a character who can, in fact, cast the ever so useful spell of Endure Elements. Where the frick? That's the doghouse. <sighs> barracks. The barracks that I need to go to. And then afterwards, I'm going to go into Neverwinter Wood. Dim's the plan, anyways. Alright, so I need to talk to Linu. Oh, wait. I'm here. And I have his thing. So I might as well. We meet again. I taste a storm of slaughter on the air. I'm not surprised to find you here at the center of the whirlwind. What are you doing here, Grimna? When we parted ways, Darius, I meant to return to my order. But I bowed to the Silent Lord and discovered I could best serve his will by staying in Neverwinter for the time being. Uh-huh. That's why I answered Lord Nash's desperate call for mercenaries to come to port last is also anxious to root out those behind the Wailing Death. Though so you were conscripted into service. When Arabeth recruited the mercenaries, we were all paid in advance for our services well paid. Lord Nash is sparing no expense in tracking down these cultists. Our instructions were simply to make ourselves a yeah yeah. Could use a monk by my side, I guess. Is there something you need? Just wanna talk for a while. Not really, but hey. Conversation is one way to pass the time until the Silent Lord takes the comes to claim us. What do you wish to speak about? Like the little... I'd really not. I'm a monk of the Order of the Long Death. I am defined by my customs, tenets, and beliefs of my order. Simply put, I worship death. Understand, I care nothing over for the petty gods who squabble over and lay claim to death's portfolio, for I serve death itself, the Silent Lord who rules us all. Tell me more of your order. We of the Long Death train, study, and serve our masters. We strive to transcend the earthly world through mental discipline and philosophical understanding of death. We worship the very essence of Silent Lord, and we honor the tools that prepare us for our inevitable, inescapable end. Pain, suffering, torment, and agony. Our beliefs are difficult for most to accept, and the Order of the Long Death has many powerful enemies. What kind of enemies are you talking about? Our embrace of the Silent Lord has brought us into conflict with many who do not understand the beauty of death. Many serve, many fear their mortal end. For most, we will simply use pain, anguish, torture, and suffering to release them from this fear. We will prepare them for the cold embrace of the Silent Lord. But there are some who go to the extremes to avoid their fate. They use foul rituals and dark necromancy to deny the Silent Lord that which he is due. You're talking about the undead, right? Which is zombies, the like. The undead are a foul abomination, a denial of the natural order. We of the Long Death are in constant conflict with necromancers and the minions. I've seen firsthand the horrors of the War of the Undead, Darius. What do you mean? This is not the time to talk. To speak of such things. We must focus on rooting out the cult responsible for the Wailing Death. Perhaps we can speak of this later. But the time is right. Is there something you I might as well level you. 
I ain't going to use ya. Oh, look at that. He actually looks like a monk now. Yeah, monks are kind of ridiculous. <laughs> uh, they get an ability called Flurry of Blows, which makes it so as they, they can attack more than, uh, more than usual in a round. I think at, like, ninth level, it's something like four or five times in a turn. They super simplified it when it came to, uh, fifth edition and whatnot, but, and Pathfinder for that matter. Pathfinder really made it easier to play as a monk. But, uh, monks also get a neat ability that they do anyways. It's been a while since I've editioned. Flea, power attack, flurry of blows, yeah. Receive an extra attack per round when fighting. However, all attacks in that round suffer minus two penalty. Which is not bad, but eh. Their unarmed strikes are increased. Pretty much every four levels it goes up by a die. So they, I think they start with a d6 and then go to d8, d10, and so on. Uh, this was the thing that made them pretty cool, though. They add their wisdom modifier to their armor class. But they can't wear armor. So... Yeah, his dexterity is only a measly plus three, but with that wisdom of four, that puts him at a base of 17. I don't know where he's getting this other 10 AC. Might be some sort of item he's wearing or you know, he took the dodge feet or something. Yeah. Uh, let's continue talking to him. Something you need? I'd like to continue your story. Earlier I mentioned my order's hatred of the abomination that is undeath, and I hinted at my own experience in battling such evil. I am not eager to dredge up those memories, but if we are to stand together, you deserve to hear the tale. Shortly after I had come to join the Order of the Long Death, one of my fellow monks returned to the monastery with ill news. He had discovered the, pe uh, the lair of a powerful lich. Our service to the Silent Lord demands that we destroy such an affront to death, so we marched forth to destroy the foul creature and end its unholy existence. I myself never faced the lich in battle, but I was one of many assigned to take the task of destroying the lich's zombie and skeleton servants. Never had I felt such revulsion of, or terror during a fight. What's so scary about zombies and skeletons? They're not that tough. There is beauty in death. The exquisite agony of a mangled sol soldier's screams well up in a glorious crescendo before ending on a single perfect note of eternal silence. The rising torment of a flailing body is transformed to a magnificent truth of a frozen corpse forever stilled. But when a corpse is not still, and the dead continue to shamble and stumble forward in a gross caricature of living flesh, where is death's beauty then, Daria? Didn't realize you were so squeamish. My order killed scores of zombies in the crypt that day. Their bodies disintegrated beneath my blows in a shower of rotting flesh, yet they pressed inexorably forward. But the true horror was yet to come. From the back of the tomb were the highest ranking monks of the order battled the lich herself. Waves of dark necromancy spilled out over the battlefield. Several of my companions had fallen during the battle, and as, a fou as the foul spell touched their corpses, they clambered to their feet, zombies under the will of the enemy we sought to destroy. I mean, you had to kill some of your own companions. We do not fear death, Darius, and I, had I been able to bring the Silent Lord's touch to my fallen comrades, I would not have felt such revulsion at this memory. But a zombie has no mind. It feels nothing. The pain that purifies and prepares us for death has no effect on these such creatures. The understanding that comes from the moment of death or ever denied to such I destroyed the animated lumps of flesh that were once my brothers and sisters in the Order, but I could not truly kill them. The undead can never be given such release. What about the Lich? The Lich was destroyed, as were all of its minions. We burned its lair, setting fire to the crypt so that the dark magic might be cleansed from a sacred place of death. But even though we were utterly victorious, the cost was terrible. The horror of the battle haunts me still, as is the fight of my fallen brothers and sisters of the Order. And I'm sorry for what happened to the other order, other monks of your Order, Grimna. Thank you for your words, Derek, though I doubt you truly understand. 
You bring death and destruction, but you do not understand it as we of the long death. The true horror of what happened to my brothers and sisters is still too terrible to comprehend, but I have vowed to free them from the torment of their undeath. How do you plan to do that? You are a servant of the Silent Lord, Darius. You bring death and pain to the world, and even so, you are not a member of the long death. My order has secrets I am not yet ready to share with you. This is not the time to speak. Focus on the Wailing Death. The one thing I do really like about uh, this particular character, anyways, is yeah, he is lawful evil. But that doesn't necessarily mean he's actually evil evil. He he inflicts pain and torment and whatnot, and it's pretty nasty, and yeah, that part is evil. But, I don't know, he doesn't, like, at least as far as I understand, he's not, like, actively going out and killing perfectly healthy individuals. He's... Now, he's bringing death to those that actually kind of need it. Also, his charisma is far lower than Darius's. I mean, he is creepy, so I don't know. Is there something you just want to talk? Story? Any secrets? We do not uh, you know, prove on yourself. Okay. You aided me in finding the Ring of Alaganda. I believe you would have helped me bring her, bring death to her, had she been alive when we found her. Perhaps you can be of more service to my order once more, for without your aid I feel my brothers and sisters will never escape their terrible fate. What do you want me to do? I should begin by explaining what happened after we burned the Lich's lair. The corpses of our own, those who had risen against us, were brought back to the monastery of my order. There were... There we sought to enact ancient rituals to release their essence from the curse that has, been, that has bound them to their animated corpses, but the chains of undeath are not easily broken. The ancient rituals require rare components and we had many casualties. A few we were able to save, but the others remain trapped in undeath until we can find more of the necessary components for the ritual. What kind of components are you looking for? The component must come from the crypt of a powerful undead monster, but it must be something that has not yet been tainted by the creature's necromancy. For example, it would Require the preserved hand from an, an animate corpse with a mummy's crypt. Only the power of such an item can release the essence of my brothers and sisters into the grasp of the Silent Lord. I will not abandon the search for the cultists behind the plague. I have pledged to aid you in destroying those who release the foul taint of wailing death. But during my mission, I will not give up my search for the mummified hand of an inanimate corpse that can release my brethren from the undead. Reaches into cloak. Hey, look at that. I just so happen to have a mummified hand. Let me see. Yes, this may work. The taint of undeath has not yet contaminated the desic desiccated flesh of this limb. Look at the severed hand, Daria. See how the withered flesh has grown so tight and thin it exposes the delicate perfection of the bones beneath? Isn't it beautiful? Thank you for this, Darius, on behalf of the Order of the Long Death. I have no reward to give you, save the blessing on my order. The reward you offer is greater than you know. You'll find that the blessing has enhanced the properties of the amulet I gave you when you found the Alaganda's ring for me. Once again, Darius, I thank you. Now let us return to the task at hand. Those behind the Wailing Death must still be dealt with. Cool. So that gave me more experience points, and that increased the Amulet of the Long Death into a plus three. I forgot what the Amulet of Long Death did. Ah, here it is. Oh, and it increased my Constitution score by three, and gave me a Spell Resistance of ten. Now that's not terrible. After all, higher Constitution means that you get more hit points. And an increase to your fortitude saving throw. But. Res strength plus three and resistance. Or complete immunity to fear. I, uh. It's gonna be a solid case of. Gee, thanks for the, um. Trinket. Adding that to the rest. So. To that end, though, we are going to. Say goodbye to Krim Grimna, hopefully for the last time. And instead, talk to Linu. Hello. I had hoped that you would show up here, my friend. 
I heard that Erebeth recruited you to stamp out the evil cult that was responsible for the plague. Lilu, our present surprise. Lilu, what a present surprise. I thought we had parted for good, Darius, but the goddess has her own plans, what I must follow. I went back to the trade of blades to prepare myself for a, long for a journey home. I was only there a few hours when I was approached by Lady Erebeth on behalf of Lord Nasher himself. She told me that Lord Nasher is determined to root out the cult that brought so much suffering to his city. He has ordered all the mercenaries in Neverwinter to come to Port Last to join in the search. I was afraid I might have missed you when I was changing clothing. Changing clothes? Oh, when I came in here, a waitress spilled some drinks. He soaked your clothes? Well, no, I bumped into her, and when the drinks crashed down, I leapt backwards onto a dwarf, knocking over his ale and stew. I think I'm getting the picture. Uh, no, the food and drinks landed on the floor, but the dwarf crashed into the half orc, causing a knife he was eating with to slice open his cheek. That's when the brawl started. And he wrecked your outfit in the brawl. I managed to stay out of the brawl, hiding under a table and fleeing awfully gu feeling awfully guilty. When the fight was over, I felt I should help clean up with the mess. So then you got dirty cleaning up. No, I wore an apron and managed to stay pretty clean. Then I stepped out for a breath of fresh air and slept on a mud puddle. So then I had to go change. Why didn't you just tell me you slept on a mud puddle from the start? I... I didn't want you to think I was clumsy. I'm waiting here at the order of at the orders of Lady Arabeth. <laughs> I won't lie. I kinda like Linu. I really do wish that I had some sort of innate ability to pick locks and whatnot, just so I can have her on the team. I'm often in need of a skilled healer. Join me. It would be a great pleasure. I look forward to our adventures together. I will follow you and perform to the best of my abilities according to the orders you have given me. Anytime you wish to issue new orders, you have only to speak to me again. So, I know I talked briefly about these characters and whatnot, but Linu is a cleric. They, uh, apparently, she's of the air and of animals. Neat. Um, they pretty much can wear any of the armor, wear shields. Most of what they're proficient with is just simple weapons. As a elf, she is immune to sleep, has some pretty keen senses, all that fun stuff. But all clerics have the ability, depending on whether they're good or evil, to churn undead. Which pretty much just, they use their ability and depending on how charismatic they are, can churn a large or small amount of undead. Sometimes even straight up destroying them. Which is neat. Now, I can't help but wonder... Uh, special abilities, crafting taunt. I legitimately have no clue uh, how to have people cast stuff. There we go. B? No. Ah! I think I need to talk to Linu about preparing her spells. Level up, please. Oh, she actually looks pretty good in that new armor. Hey there, dear. What can I change your tactics? Don't use your melee weapons anymore. No. Change the distance. No. Do not assist me if I fail to open a locked door chest. Don't want to change anything else right now. I thought there might have been a way to change her spells. Oh, you can actually... Oh. Alright, give me a moment, because what I've been able to craft things from what's about who's its face is uh, pretty imperative. Well, not imperative, but you know what I mean. One moment. Okay. I did about 15 or so minutes of research, most of which involves going to websites and whatnot that talk of the idea of botting the game to make it so as you can more freely control your companions. This involves telling them to unlock stuff with point and clicking instead of having, you know, going to a chest and all that fun stuff. And um, pretty much all of this research was to say no. There is 
not a way to directly control your individual NPCs and whatnot. So, uh, as much as I would love to have it so as Linu would cast Endure Elements on a thing so that I might be able to get a ring. No bueno. Ooh, that rubs me in such the wrong way. Anyways, uh, well, to that end though, I guess I'm not doing that. And I guess all of that freaking stuff I'm carrying around, unless there ends up being a way for me to use a magic item or something to make it so as I can just casually pass the Endure Element spell on something. Uh, that's a no-go. No boy, no. Hey ho, I am. That irritates me a little bit. I won't lie. I was, I was actually kind of really looking forward to that because, I don't know the just the item, the idea of magic item creation in these kind of games makes you go, yes. And again, I know that apparently it gets better in some of the, in the uh, other games. What were these caves again? I know I explored one of them. It was one of these wolves. Pretty sure... Yeah, no, this one was the one with the, uh... Dire Bear. In the night. The undead dude who I just kinda... Casually said, hey, no. I, I was just... In the area. You'll, ha you'll have to pardon me. I'm, I'm actually kind of disappointed in the fact that I couldn't directly control the henchman spell casting like that. Like, that is... I don't know. That just rubs me in such the wrong way. I would have thought that they would have made it so as you could. <sighs> what am I doing? I am doing stuff. Right, Neverwinter Wood. I kind of want to go and see if I can't find the other brothers first, though. I think that one of them was in the Eastwood. Or the Eastwood, the East Road that leads to Neverwinter Wood, so. Hmm. I don't know, I, I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to have the NPC companions casting spells and whatnot. And from what I understand, you get more control over the NPCs as you play through the other expansions. Oh hey, that's uh, that's the werewolf. Get out, guess. What are you doing here? Why have you come? I do not wish to be bothered. Who are you? Yes, I am one of... I, at one time a normal man and not a horrific beast. Who hails from Port Last? Why do you care? I have silver charms from Nurek. Over? I might be despondent about my future, but I do not wish to prematurely... Wish it prematurely ended either. Charm comes from Nurek. It's a safe. Uh, Karathus told me that I would be safe at his side and look at me now. No, I think... Take the charm! Bozo will take the charm. Death, death this way or death that way, what does it matter? Ah, I'm human again. Is this a joke? A dream that I will wake from? That'll be truth. Oh, take my ring. Bring it to Nurik. I'm overjoyed. I'm human again. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. I'm forever indebted. Oh, I have been here before. Yeah, this is where all the trolls were. And then that goes to Neverwinter Wood. It's us. Alright, um... Was it just... Yeah, it was three charms, right? Gave me enough charms for... Yeah, one charm. Two charms. There's one more brother and then there's, uh... Kara... Kara... Karathus? 
Curtis. I don't know. Um, one second. I did guess. I did the dude who. I did that. Yes, I did the dude who was hiding at his parents' place. I know that there was one that was along the south road. I don't know where. He might have been placed here now that the whole. Now that I actually have the quest. Because I cleared this place out beforehand. So, most I can wonder. I find it a little bit funny that threatening the kid's life seemed to have fixed the problem. But, I suppose, you know, when you have... When your options are or death. Kind of... Kind of forced to take whichever. Alright. Quicking, quicking, quickly trying to run through these caves and see if I can't find the... Final werewolf dude. Did I already loot this place? Figured I did. Hmm. I'm really hoping I didn't end because I know that there was a werewolf. Was it a werewolf? Shoot. I'm now thinking that I may have ruined this quest for myself. I'm not getting beset by a uh, werewolf just yet. Oh, hey, there we are. Hey, Brian. I'm going to quick save just in case. Gotta love how he still sounds like a freaking teenager, even in werewolf form. Hi. Uh, hi? Get out of my cave. Can I ask who you are? I am Bran for Port Lass at one at one time normal, not afflicted with this lycanthropic disease. Why does it why don't you take your sneering self away from here? Nurk gave me these uh silver charms. I think they can help you. Silver? You're trying to kill me, aren't you? Nonsense. Nurk made it, and if you can't trust him, you can't trust anyone. Exactly. Can't trust anyone. Now back off. Look, kid, take it or I will kill you. It's that simple. Think I'm scared of death? Give me the charm and I'll prove it to you. Freaking punk. I can feel it. Thank you so much. Here, take my ring and bring it to Nurik so it knows I'm alright. Ugh, this place smells horrible. I'm gonna get some fresh air, alright? Huzzah. Uh, that would be the three of them. And I just need to figure out where the hell... What's his face? I'm sorry, I'm terrible at remembering characters' names. Actually, I might as well teleport. Teleport. Hey, I'll tell you. I... Um... Uh, must speak of the werewolves. Had some success. Found Bran, here's his ring. Praise be to Taylor, you have done very well indeed. You are... We are all indebted to you for this. A life restored and a threat pushed aside. Here's your reward, as promised. Unfortunately, there are still other children who must be found quickly. I don't know, he didn't really look all that old. Here, all the boys have now been accounted for. It is a relief to see that some measure of peace has been restored at last. Your heroism has served us well, brother. Take this reward in my thanks. If only all of this were over with. Sir Carathis remains at large, as does the Black Wolf himself. Task yet remains to track them both, brother. You will, of course, be rewarded once again in when this is done, I assure you. Okay. I've not found either of them yet. Quick killing, why not? Ah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The three. Okay, if I remember correctly, he was all. It was something like he would never return until the three boys are dealt with or something. So I gotta go back to the cave. Back near the green griffin. Um, 
dun, 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 dun. I know where we're like, I'm gonna go to the to the other place, but I mean I'm a little bit dis disgruntled by the whole oh you can't control the companions thing. And there are mods that I found that can make it so as you control them, but not to the extent that I need in order to benefit from it. I mean, again, I could just take a level of cleric and all that fun stuff. Cleric or druid? Druid would honestly make more sense for Darius, but... Alright. Cave time. And I just hope that Carathis is as smart as these teenagers and is all like, oh, sure, yeah, I'll put on the charm. Better be. Watch him not be, and then I have to slay him. And then all the bad per- all the terrible, terrible persuasion checks. Oh, Carrot Top! We're here to fix your affliction! Hi! I assure you, Mr. Werewolf Hunter, we've got this more in hand than you ever did. Hunt the werewolf, hunt the werewolf, give him the charm so he does the kill. Oh. God, you're tall. I've come to talk, nothing more. What do you want? Eric gave me these silver charms. I think I can help. You've come to me with silver? Do you not remember that I am a werewolf hunter? That silver would be poison to me now. Magic, representative of Tyr's justice. Justice, you say? It slays the wicked and cures the righteous, and I shall gladly use the charm. I know my heart. There, that should be proof enough of my innocence. Take this journal I have pinned and give it to Nurek. Tells the truth of what has happened. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must return to my order and seek penance for taking on the shape of my enemy. Read my general well and act upon it. Oh. Bye. Alright, I looted this place all to hell anyways. Damn it. Alright, back to Nurik then. Uh, Yeah, let's read that journal first before we give it over. Assuming, of course, I know where it is. Ah. May the celestial armies rain fire upon mine enemy, Alahor. Alhelor. Alhelor, the werewolf. Alhelor, the alpha male. I have hunted him for years, and with a simple bite, he has turned me into the very thing I hate. No doubt he hides beneath his merchant guise even now. Oh, I was right. As lycanthropic blood coursed through me, I lashed out at the poor boys and thereby spread his this terror, this horror all the more. One at least escaped my maddened lunge, Ander, the smallest. I can only hope that he makes it back to town and tells this tale to Nurik. Surely the priest will send a hunting party after me. I can only hope they are capable of killing me before I spread this dreaded curse any further. May the gods have mercy on my soul. I called it. Hail to ye! I know the true identity of Black Wolf Nerik is Alhalor. You speak truly, Alhalor. But he, if that's the case, I, I almost cannot bring myself to say it, but he needs to be destroyed. The curse of the Black Wolf must be ended so it will never be spread up to incense again. I wish I need not ask it of you, but would you seek out Alhalor and do what must be done? Please, brother, do this and bring me his tooth so that I will once... That I will know once and for all that the danger is over. Is there any money in this for me? 
It goes without saying that I would reward you for this task, but only if you return with a tooth of the beast. I must be sure that the deed is done. I know I can trust you. Your efforts have been far beyond anything we could have hoped for. End it quickly, brother. A tears guide your hand in the name of justice. Justice. Alright. I can do that. Also, again, I know I'll probably say this like five times over, over and over, but called it. See, he was just at the Alliance Arm Inn, right? Just chilling out in here. Uh, Ander, where's your buddy? If you're looking for Al Halor, he went home to get some rest. Maybe I could answer a question for you. Tell me where Al Halor lives. Oh, he lives nearby the pond at the town center. It's a fairly small house. Lost, you know. Alholor is usually here, but he said he was tired. Maybe you can stop in tomorrow? We sell the best collection of werewolf remedies around. Well, we're the only other one selling this stuff like that, but we're the best. And our Alholor is really the black wolf. What? That can't be right. Are you joking with me, sir? I know it sounds strange, but I will get to the bottom of it. I... That's so... I don't doubt your word, though. Alholor does always seem a bit odd, somehow. I just never suspected... What a fool I've been. Thank you for telling me, sir. I'll definitely watch out for him. I haven't seen Alholor since he went back to his home by the pond. If you hurry, you can catch him there and kill him once and for all. Wow. Dude's tune turned... Just immediately as soon as I told him, Hey, by the way... Your buddy, your pal, your chum, yeah. May or may not be a werewolf. And by may or may not, I mean is a werewolf. Oh, I already looted his house. Oh. It's that house. The one that had all the bloodstains and whatnot. Yep. Hi, buddy. What's up? You have a keen nose to have tracked me here. I suppose I should welcome you to my den. Why all the deceit, Black Wolf? What's in it for you? We wolves are predators. It was simply time to hunt the hunter and pin my crimes upon my prey. I played possum with Carathis long enough. Rickery, prepare to die, Black Wolf. I am old and a cunning wolf, my friend. Not one to die so easily. Power attack. Uh, I think this might be a little bit easier than he's letting on. Yeah, if we... Mm, yep. Tommy, you're fine. Keep keep stabbing away. Don't ask me how he parries an axe with his bear claw. Well, wolf claw. Heh <laughs> heh. Hello. Oh! The helmet I sold him! Huh. Okay. Cool beans. I'm... I'm only gonna guess that, um, when I eventually turn in everything and whatnot, this house is gonna be burned to the ground. Just saying. Hey, Nerik. Brother Darius, how are uh, things progress? Is Al Halor, the Black Wolf, dead? I don't think a single soul within Port Lass has stopped to take breath. Have you news for me, brother? Or you're just in need of something else? I have his tooth here. Al Halor is dead. It's been a dark day for Port Lass, but, I have, but you have reminded us that the sun rises yet again. For the champion of Port Lass, here is a token of our gratitude. Thanks. You are more than welcome. Poor lass is indebted to you, Brother Darius, our brave champion. Travel safely and know that our thoughts are with you on this journey of yours. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that was actually quite a beneficial, beneficial quest. Now that I think about it. Uh, oh man. Does that mean I could have sold a bunch of stuff to Al Halor? And then when I killed him, get back the stuff and then I could sell it again? Yeah. That'd have been 
<laughs> neat. <laughs> An interesting exploit, but neat. I am severely thinking about getting rid of these boots of reflexes for the boots of striding plus two. I mean, I'm... I'm gonna fail reflex saves. That's just... That's not here nor there. <sighs> I'm wondering how many hit points that would actually give me. Vulnerability... Oh yeah, you had no other breast, no other armor that would really benefit me that much, huh? Oh, the cloak of movement. I always wanted to get a cloak of movement because of freedom, but hmm. And most of these are rings that I've sold this guy. <laughs> kind of interesting though that. Of all this time that I've played, I think I've used a Ring of Protection or a Ring of Resistance. Yeah. A grand total of like two-ish levels worth. Okay, that's Fear and Squ Scare. A Rod of Resurrection. Can't cast this because I d I'm not a Cleric or a Paladin. Uh... Well, I should... Oh wait, that's Grimnoth. That's Linu's token. I guess I could sell back this Belladonna. Presuming, of course, I'm not going to face off against any more werewolves. Yeah, he's got the weirdest of tactics, though. I am a big, nasty werewolf, and I'm going to sell, my, sell the things that will kill me to my enemies. Well, that's just a regular Warhammer. I... I'm... I'm just moderately questioning the thing. Unless, of course... Because I haven't actually ended up using any of it, so... It could just as well be that all of the stuff that I had... On me... Was actually useless. Or ineffectual. Which is a good chance. I'm gonna sell some of these all... Gotta get rid of them. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to take. I'm going to fail reflex saving throws, even with that plus three. So part of me is just like, screw it. I'll just get more HPs. Wait, how much does that does that affect my HP? That affects it by ten. Bye-bye, boots of striden. Still no better gloves, though. Only gloves of dexterity. That's a little irritating. Well, I could also just see about doing the remainder of Tommy's quest and see about getting his ring to be better. God, I gotta just sell that stuff. It's practically useless to me. Roller's Bell. And they, yes. Well, I'd say that one, but... Yeah. Nah. <sighs> so many good things. So little time. Alright. Let's take a quick look at our journal here. Uh... The completed ones, these are uncompleted ones. Still got the five tomes. The dreaded Cultican's Vardok Cult Agent Vardok is dead. Second piece of evidence and these to be enough for error or best import last as soon as possible. I got the bounty hunt that I still need to do. I've done Zor. The Wyvern is in the Neverwinter Wood. Blue, Sturge, and Delilah. And Yesgar is still somewhere unknown. Oh, you're all the farmer in the woods, port last. Did I not already kill the leader? How much higher pitch can I possibly get my voice? I really don't know. 
Yeah, let's see about finding this ogre. Ah. I won't lie, I really do wish that I had done my research about getting NPCs to cast spells before I had started this episode. Because I was a little bit hyped. I was a little bit hyped about the prospect of, yeah, I'm going to go out and kill that, uh, go out, do the thing. Alright, so he wants me to collect the head of the Ogre Mage. And they say that the Ogre Mage was nearby? Gina's life and livelihood are ruined by the recent activity amongst the nearby humanoid tribes. Okay, so we must be talking about the caves are around here. Makes sense. Watch this Ogre Mage be a right pain in the ass. Like, just unjustly so. I also need to figure out which one of these caves is the cave that this dude is, rel is in. I remember exploring all of this area. I already explored this area. Fairly certain I explored all of it. Unless it's another case of, oh, nothing spawns here until you have the quest. Do I have his head? I guess when I turned in a head at some point. That was a bullet. If I go down, I end up back where I had been. But again, I'm fairly certain I had already explored all of this. Hmm. I'm going to be a little bit cross if he's somewhere within this place. But there was the Goblin King. That was the Orc King. I know I already slew all the Orcs at the temple. He said that he took all the... The, the ones that were imprisoned had said that he had taken all the stronger ones. Kennels. Where does this one go? Stairs down. I never took those stairs down, did I? Terrible at remembering this crap. I'm also just, like, side thinking all the different benefits I could have to just taking a singular level of cleric. Oh, I haven't been here. Please, activate the trap. So now that I'm like, very overpowered for this area. Oh, okay. That was weird. It was like the game almost thought about crashing on me. I was really worried for a second there. I mean, not that worried, but... If you would... Try this in again. Tommy. Okay, okay. Thank you. Not a big establishment, oh, but it's done. could be depending on how many teeny tiny little rooms that there are here. I don't recognize you. Have you come to finish what their game started? No. You look more like intruders to me. Who is this dear gab you mentioned? I would have assumed the other denizens of this cave would have filled you in on this by now. The master is all they babble about. Dear gab, or the master, if you prefer, is an ogre mage of some power. It was also my former partner until he fell in with that cult and betrayed me. Oh. The cult. I don't know much about it. Dear gab came back from one of his outings with a cultist beside him. Claimed there has been a change of plans. 
You gotta only listen to the cultist after that. That he was preparing the army for some different purpose, something greater. I objected naturally, foolishly as it turns out, seeing as he as where it got me. What about this cultist? His name's Ganon. Flashbacks to the last three games I let's played while also let's playing this. He's an assassin or a rogue or some such thing. I never spoke to him much, so I couldn't tell you more. You know what purpose the cult wanted? No, Jurgiab would only say that they needed the forces for the return, whatever that means. The cultists wouldn't elaborate, at least not to me. Alright, get out of here. I'll be glad to leave as all this far, far behind. Thank you for releasing me, my gnome friend. We won't meet again. Kinda hope so, but at the same time, I'm kinda thinking that if you end up being some sort of a dick, you're going to try to bring up some sort of, you know, orcish uprising and try to kill everyone again, so... We might very well be meeting again. Yeah, see, it's not that big of a place. I'm probably going to try to finish out this area before I call it an episode. And of course, Tommy is going to cause some trouble. Can't spell halfling without trouble. Bug bears, bug bears, so many bug bears. Oh, hello. There are a lot of you here. Yeah, he really was preparing preparing just like this small army of goblinoids and orcs against the uh, against the good people around here. Dave going to explore board Bard. Ooh. Another bow I can sell. I'm gonna guess that these other two are also... Okay. Chop them up. Chop them boots. Orc champions. I love how he looked forth at that, at uh, Tommy, a grand total of like ten seconds while I was stabbing him in the back. All right, got a feeling that this next room is going to be the one where Dear Giab is. Uh, it's done. I'm probably going to want to rest here. I didn't think I was going to be able to actually. Resting, resting, then I'm gonna kill an Ogre Mage. Or I'm gonna die several times to the Ogre Mage. Again, imagine, if you will, an Ogre who is smart enough to be a mage. Uh, <laughs> that is like the quick and skinny of what an Ogre Mage is, and I'm not even joking. Um, not 100% sure what the Potion of Clarity does, but have a Potion of Aid. That's the Amulet. That's the Bless. Um... Eagle Splendor... God damn it. Owl's Wisdom. That's the one I was gonna pop. All right, charge! I ain't gonna give this guy a second ch a chance to do anything. Well, as much as I can, give him a chance to do nothing. Critical for seventy! Oh yeah, look at him go down like a punk! So do I, Tommy. Oh, you're Ganon. How kind of appropriate you die last. Chap. 
Oi. I love how he stopped for just a brief second, long enough for me to stab him in the face. Ooh. One I could not identify. Throwing axes, invisibility, cast grace. Honestly. You dicks. Battle axe plus two. You dicks. Actually. Before I check that out, I as well check out what's in here. Uh, no can do. Probably can't bash these open, huh? Uh, no can do. Nothing walks away. Yep. Okay. That's um. Upside down L turned into an F. I don't know. I guess with as limited resources as orcs and ogres and whatnot have, makes sense for them to uh, have something like it? that. Could just bash the door open, actually. Ah, uh, it's done. And what is in here, anyways? Funny. Wanda's sleep. Trapped chest. A trapped crate. Leather armor plus two. Oh boy. Okay, okay. I think we're finally getting to the point where the game is realizing, like, maybe we should give them some better equipment. Hmm. Still prefer silver main over the uh, plus two battle axe, though. Just saying. Okay. Uh, we also. One second. I'm gonna turn in the head. We'll read the journal. I don't think I'm gonna turn it into Arabeth just yet, though. Because we got other things to do. Bandits to slay. By the way, how are you guys enjoying the one hour format of the video? Oh, excuse me, of the videos. Because I, I find it just only the slightest bit stressing, as it were. But that's mostly because... Enemies. Huh. Anyways, talk to Gerald. Just pleased to see you again, friend. Things are just about to right with Leah's return to the farm. To think I thought her dead for sure. Things are just about right, but not quite. The area is still unsafe, except for as so long as your gab is still about. Oh, you mean this guy? Just once again, pull it right out of my, pull it right out of the uh, cloak. That has a relief then, to be sure. We'll have none of this terrorizing anyone else in this. Any, have none of his terrorizing anyone else in these parts. Thank you, lad. I hope this bit of gold will do as a reward. 150? It'll do. The least I can do. There's something else, lad. Nope, we're good. We are. good. Hey. Nope. And that's just a battle axe plus two. All right then. So we're so naturally battle axe plus two is just a battle axe, but it has plus two to damage and plus two to attack rolls. As well, read this before we call an episode. I find I've grown fond of the monsters in these caves. They are savage, violent, and easily whipped into a frenzy by my puppet ogre mage, Dirkiab. Not entirely unlike the rest of us who have turned following Mogrim into a religion. He the puppeteer, we his willing puppets. And to think he sent me here to search for some ancient artifact as he sent my brothers to Charwood and the Neverwinter Wood. It isn't in this place. It would have left some telltale sign. It would have wanted to be found. It would call it it would call me to it. Perhaps they have been better yeah. Perhaps they have had better luck in the two woods. So instead of being a puppet, I have become a puppeteer. Not so grand as Mogrim, but even so, look how dear Giab struts and schemes at my bidding. Oh. So whatever it is that they're looking for has got to be in the Neverwinter Wood then. Alright. You seriously don't know how tempting this is because clerics, clerics themselves aren't all that great. Uh, until you look at their spellcasting abilities and it's all primarily 
buffing spells. We're talking like shield spell, uh, endure elements, cure wounds, all that fun stuff. And they range. You could heal yourself, you can increase your AC, increase your saving throws. Bless is a freaking wonderful spell, as evident by this scabber that has been used, but we're going to stick to our guns. Yaris has, for most of his career, been a barbarian. Okay. I could stick more into lore. I'm going to stick more into lore. Not needing to turn to, um... Eh? Thavian Circlet. Ooh, Wizards of Thay. Thavian Circlets were crafted by the Red Wizards to help them fend off the aggressive Luskin Brotherhood. Though designed only to augment spellcasting abilities, they have the additional benefit of improving the wearer's hardiness, reflexes, and willpower. Since their introduction, the conflict between the two groups has been marked restrained. So an increase in intelligence, all saving throws increased by one, and a concentration bonus. Hmm. How stupid does it look? It doesn't look terrible. I've seen far, far worse helmets in this game. I guess it mostly depends on which one of them is going to be the most beneficial to sell. But, to that end, I'm going to go ahead and teleport back here. And we're going to call an episode here. When we return, we're going to go back to Lady Arabeth be all like, Hey, look at this book. And hopefully she'll have something insightful to tell us. I'm going to actually keep with the Watchman's Helm. Provides a little bit of light. I can't decide. We'll see. In any case, thank you everyone so very much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this adventure as much as I am. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.